Greetings and welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Um, I got a question. Well, I get a lot, a lot, a lot of questions, but this is one of them. Uh, and it's um, Isa Munir or something like that who says, Hi Ben, would you be able to do a tutorial on how to package your game in Unreal Engine 4? Uh, and yes, that I will. So today I'm going to show you how to package a game for Windows um, and I'm gonna do it you know thoroughly so if you're in a rush then I suggest you just don't watch it but if you wanna learn it and you wanna learn how to create the loading screen and the application icon and all of that then pay attention and I suggest that unless you are you know well versed in GIMP or Photoshop or any other, you know, painting or uh, image editing software, then I suggest you go to the interweb and you write gimp.org and you download GIMP right now because we will use it. And, you know, this isn't going to be a GIMP tutorial, but I will still show you what to do uh, in order to create the different file formats uh, needed. So. Put this video on pause, download, and then come back. Okay, so let's start. As usual, I've just opened a first person template. Um, and we're not gonna do anything special here, but we will go to File and Save As to create a new level. And I will simply call this Level 1. And then locate starter content and maps and make sure you save it in here this is important because you will not be using the first person example map when you're creating your game and so uh, now we have the level level you will be using and um, we're ready to go so first things first go to edit and then project settings uh, and here we have the project description so we will write our company name. For me, it's Ormsta Multimedia. Ormsta Multimedia, um, company distinguished name. I don't know. Homepage, write your homepage. For me, it's http colon slash slash Ormsta slash Multimedia dot com slash support contact. Ben at armstyle description I don't know package game test for example project displayed title my game copyright notice and whatever let's not bother with that and here we have the first image the project thumbnail uh, so now we will open GIMP or Photoshop if you prefer that but I must say I really do love GIMP GIMP is incredibly awesome to be free okay so we see here uh, by hovering the mouse over that the dimensions are 192 by 192 so we will create a file with that size so width 192 and height 192 okay so first thing take uh, the bucket and just click in here to make it black and then take the paintbrush click this arrows to switch to white and go down to the paintbrush settings and make the size larger maybe like this you know this is just for fun and then go to the right side and click to create new layer okay and we will then create some text so I click the A and I drag out where I want the text and I'll just call it my gamer <laughs> and I'll select all the text and make it a little bit bigger and fatter and awesomer and what have you like that and I'll do it again down here 
click and hold and here I will write my company and you can write your company you know the ones creating the game select the text and click where it's white and drag it up I'll make this red like that and actually I wanna have this another color so I select it and choose this color you know this won't be perfect it's just to illustrate so uh, this is good enough for me now uh, and when we go back here we see that it's gonna be a PNG file so go up to file and then export as I'll just save it to my desktop I already have PNG here but if you don't you can write it uh, so I'll just call this my game thumbnail so in GIMP you can either you know just write J JPEG or PNG or whatever you want or you can go down here to select file type and you choose the file type here but it's enough to just write it so make sure it's my game thumbnail dot PNG then click export and just say yes whatever and then we go back here and we click those three dots we go to the desktop and we see the my game thumbnail open and here it is so now just save 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 we go down to maps and modes and here we have the default maps and this is why we created the new level because here we don't want to open the first person example map when we're going to package our game so we click here and we choose the level we want the game to open in uh, so if you have a main menu level or something you will most likely use that here and also the editor startup map I will use it use level one yeah and of course you can change the game modes and the full pawn class and whatever here but we're not gonna do that so we go further and packaging here in the project you have the build configuration you can choose development or shipping um, I've never shipped the game so I've never used the shipping but I think they are pretty much the same but um, use development while developing the game and you're just testing to see and then when you're creating the final version you package it as shipping and it should be all good you know okay Support platforms, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we scroll down to platforms and we're gonna use Windows. I just need to save again. I'm sorry, I just have to. Okay, so here we have, you know, the editor splash screen and the game splash screen and the game icon. Let's first create the game icon. So when we hover the mouse over this, we see the dimensions are 256 by 256 so we go back into GIMP and we go up to image and down to canvas size and then we write 256 and 256 and just that's it okay yeah and then select this image and place it you know approximately in the middle like that Uh, then let's see I'll remove this put this layer down under the background because that layer is larger now so choose the bucket again and just no that's not possible well create a new layer then then take this in the background and we don't want it white so switch this and like that so okay and also you can choose this uh, move tool and just you know make the text a little bit better for this new size like that I can see this is not centered right but that's okay okay uh, since this is uh, an icon image format uh, it's best to merge all the layers just to make it as easy as possible and as simple as possible so click the, um, the top layer right click and then take merge down and just do that until you've merged all of these layers like that okay now go to file export as 
and if we go back to the editor we see it's ICO so that's what we put in the back here ICO but this is this is not a thumbnail this is the game icon so my game icon dot ICO export now very important this will not be compressed and it must be 32 BPP 8 bit alpha no palette Pele pal I don't know how to say that if you don't do this then most likely the engine will crash when you try to run the game and you won't know anything and everything will go to shit so yes 32 BPP not compressed for the icon then export so we go back into the engine click three dots desktop we find my game icon and -da. so that's all good now let's create the splash screens uh, so if we hover the mouse above it we see the dimensions are 600 by 200 so we go back into GIMP up into image canvas size right 600 by 200 and we put this approximately in the middle again like that and with the move tool we can adjust it a little bit better this isn't good at all but you know it's better than nothing um so now i will what am i doing what am i doing yeah uh, and for a loading screen it's okay you know i like to use the company logo and also the game engine logo for that so i've gotten the unreal engine logo here like that and i will just scale it down select this um whatever it is chain thing so all the all the dimensions are scaled uh, exactly the same i'm sorry i'm not english natively so <laughs> sometimes the words just disappear but the height will be 200 so there we go mm, okay this is not good yes it is it is it's perfectly okay perfectly okay and I will use my own logo as well so I drag this in so you just make your version of this right No height, 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 height. No, actually, I want it a little bit lower. Like this, and then a new layer. Take this new layer at the bottom, and then color everything black. Like that. And then we can select the text thing and drag this out and write uh, loading select the text and make it whatever color you want maybe red make it fat and make it bigger like that yeah you know not perfect actually pretty ugly but it serves the purpose for this tutorial so now that's okay so we go back and we check what kind of uh, this is gonna be a BMP file format so when we're done we go to file and export as then we call it my game loading splash maybe that's double up yes just splash and then BMP now export and again very important if you don't do this correctly everything will crash so go to advanced options and make sure you click 24 bits yes 24 bits don't forget it export now we will duplicate the loading text like this and hide 
the, one of them and then select the text tool and click inside of here and write editor editor and I'll change the color for that to green no I need to select the text first <laughs> like so oh that's really bad okay okay no problem when you're done go to export as and we will call this my game editor splash bmps export and again advanced options 24 bits export I'm saying it like this because there's so many people not following every step and then they write in the comments that something is wrong and they don't know why and it doesn't work and it's just because they skipped the step so that's why I'm saying it like that okay now back in here we click the game splash the three dots and we find my game splash like this and then the editor splash like that and even though it's not that nice, it still looks kind of cool. So uh, that's it. We save. And now, you know, when you package a game, you will not be playing inside of the game engine. So you need a way to exit the game. So we're just going to quickly create a way to exit the game without, you know, force deleting it. So we're going to open the first person character. And in the event graph, you right click and you just write ESC and choose keyboard events, escape, and then press to drag out and just write command, execute console command. And then in command, you write quit. Just very simple. Then you can just click uh, press escape and you will exit the game. Save. Now, almost done. File package project windows 64 bit and i'm just gonna put it on the desktop i'm gonna make a new folder and i'm gonna call it my game and say okay see you when it's done okay so it's done let's see so we minimize everything close it and here we have my game windows no editor and here you can see the application file so we can just double click that loading screen and here we are so now you can just click escape and you're out so that's how you package your game for windows and now you remember we created an editor editor splash screen as well and that's a little fun because now when you're working on it let's quit the engine and we will go into the project file I'm just a little bit slow in the head day package the game for Windows and here we go editor splash screen Whew, crazy <laughs> so you know that's how that is now if you didn't do as I said and your engine is crashing now that might happen you know because you may not have created the different files as I said then you must go into this project file project folder and you see this package game for Windows PNG image you must delete this and you must go into content splash and delete these because those will, if they're not correct, they will uh, destroy the engine, you could say. So, yeah, that's it. Okay, have a great day and peace out.